The first godfather gift for the first Christmas. It's my first godchild, oh. and you're more than welcome. And I think we should be going. All right, we'll, we'll drop by the, the hospital party after we visit Iona, okay? Uh, and then we're spending Christmas Eve with Anna and Robin. Yeah. It's going to be their first Christmas without dudes. It's tough on them, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, Kate's always been good medicine for my daughter. Yeah. Well, and for Anna. They're like family now. Yeah. Especially because I almost lost Aunt Iona. Mm-hmm. Thank well, you so I think very we... much for helping pull her through. Hi. I only want to hear good news, otherwise hey. leave. Hi. Hi, hi. Hi. Listen, we got a lead on Colton. We found a letter from him in a cabin. Yeah, we and... We found some footprints. We followed them to some tire tracks. They led us to a highway. At least this gives us an indication he might be alive. With or without Olivia? That we don't know. The rangers are still searching. Mm. Yeah, we haven't heard a peep out of Lucas and BJ tonight. Yeah, well, you can thank Terry for that. Whoop. Watch the pin, watch the pin. That's my stomach. Oh, it's not your stomach. Well, there's a pillow and then there's my stomach, and you hold a grudge, you know. <laughs> oh. Still, practice your whole hose for the hospital kids. <laughs> As a Johnny Carson, though. <laughs> <laughs> you sound good. Mm -hmm. now, what do we got to remember tonight? Let's see. Oh, we've got a lot of added responsibilities. You got to get. Oh, added responsibilities, Clark's don't I? That's right. In I'm the a... car, the baby right. stroller, mm -hmm. and um, the carrier. That's right. Uh, baby bottles, diapers, um, pacifiers. Anything else we forgot? Yeah, don't forget the children. I knew there was something <laughs> I wanted to forget. Okay. Okay, I think I got you. <laughs> I don't think I'd buy this. Oh, it's not on. for you, it's for the children. He come looks on. Fabulous. Yeah, I like it. There's another stuff pillow on. in there. If I have another pillow, they won't have a lap to sit on. <laughs> oh, why don't you two come to the party? BJ would love it. Oh, good idea. You want to go? I don't think so. You go ahead, though. You okay? I just don't feel like a very festive mood. They don't know for sure if those footprints are Colton's or not. Well, that's the only assumption we can go on, honey. I just don't feel like celebrating, that's all. Well, it's okay. Don't worry about the party. We'll see you later. Okay. Okay. Come on. Let's get kiss him. Santa Claus. <laughs> see you. Bye. I'm sorry. You know, sweetheart, even if Colton were here and we knew he was all right, he probably wouldn't want you moping around on the holidays, do you think? You're right. He even wanted me to get on with my life with you. I just wish I knew, you know, how he was doing if he's all right. We've got footprints. It's no guarantee, you know, it's... We can only be optimistic, sweetheart. So, why don't we just try to be cheerful for Christmas Eve? We owe it to the family. Hmm? You're right. I will go to the party. Good. I'd like to call Charlene and tell her the encouraging news first. All right. Okay, see you in a bit. Bye. Oh, Hello. okay. You look cute. Charlene, I tried to call you a little earlier. I wanted to tell you that those might be Colton's footprints. Keep the faith. Did you hear that, Lucy? Yeah, I'm just wondering what happened to Olivia. <laughs> oh, who cares about her? As long as Colton's fine, who cares about that crazy woman? You know, I, I guess I owe you an apology about my behavior yesterday. I kind of lost my Christmas spirit, and I'm sorry. No, you don't owe me an apology. I just want you to have a Merry Christmas. I will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've been such a good girl. Can I have a kiss? And what about me, huh? Do I get a kiss, too? Ooh. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, Let me check that. What is it? Santa Claus tie. Oh, I love it so. Well, you should. You bought it for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember. <laughs> well, I guess it's about time to tell the Christmas story. Yeah, it seems that way. They're starting to line up. You know, this is a milestone for you. How's that? Well, if I'm not mistaken, the first time you told the story to the hospital children was 25 years ago. <laughs> oh, my. It can't have been that long ago. I was looking forward to another milestone of sorts. I, uh, I was hoping my grandson would be sitting on my lap while I was telling the story. Well, obviously, Simone wanted to be with her parents today, and of course, Tom should be with his wife and child. I wish I could be as understanding as you are. Well, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Come on, Tom. to ride a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. 
Excuse me, but I think he should see a doctor. Oh, really Mama, do. I'm fine. No, I'm we ought to get a doctor. Took Look care at this of the leg. leg. Now, it's don't you fine. argue with me. Don't. All right. I just wish Decker could be home to see you.